Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing a top 10 list of the easiest hacks to learn and start extreme couponing. Um, yes, this is a very fun hobby where you can get a lot of stuff for pennies on the dollar, sometimes even free. And if you've ever been curious about this, this is going to be a very um, basic one, two, three kind of a list. If you want a stockpile like this, this is actually my stockpile. Um, I have been couponing for about eight years um, and making these videos for about three. Um, so I've been at it for a bit and um, I don't pay for anything full price. It's usually discounted somehow or free or I roll some points or do something somewhat to uh, one of the stores, but I never pay full price. And that is the magic of extreme couponing. This is a very powerful hobby. And I know a lot of you might stumble onto one of these videos and say, well, that must be nice. So I'm gonna basically um, like show you uh, some of the tips and tricks on how you can possibly have a stockpile like this. The first hack um, is to start small. Focus on one store. Sometimes when you do find your way into this hobby, you're going to want to like go to every single store, chase down every single deal. And the best avenue to take is to really hyper focus on one store. Say you really want to focus on Walgreens. Learn their system inside out, backwards, forward, research, 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 and try your best to try to figure it out. Um, but really start small. I think if you want to go to every single store and do every single deal, you will be couponing um, seven days a week and it might be just overwhelming where you might want to just altogether quit or you might get really confused. So I think it's really good to take a baby step and just to find one store that you really like and start there. The second step is to be a student and not to be allergic to doing a little bit of research. Um, and I'm not being condescending here, but um, basically a lot of newbies or rookies or people that just stumbled upon my YouTube page will just blast me with a million questions. And I might have a video on the basics 101 on how to shop at said store. And they're like, well, I don't have time to watch a 10 minute video. If you don't have time to put the basic research and the basic homework into this hobby, it's probably not for you. Cause it's not the sort of thing that you could just walk into the store on your first um, maiden voyage and have hundred percent success. You kind of need to uh, do your homework and figure out how to get the success, what coupons you'll need, what is the sale and how to stack everything together. So if you are kind of allergic to doing homework and um, to really figuring out the specifics or finding somebody with the deals with the specifics and trying to, you know, mirror a deal, um, this pro hobby is probably not for you. But definitely don't be allergic to Google. Don't be allergic to looking stuff up. Uh, the more you do this on your own, the faster you will learn how to coupon. Hack number three is to get a smartphone. Um, with a lot of the couponing deals that we do, they have to do with rebate apps. If you wanna sign up for my team, there's like five rebate apps in the notes, all fantastic. And a lot of them will give you an extra bonus when you sign up with my links. But anyhow, get a smartphone. I know that a lot of my um, subscribers are ladies, 60 years plus, and shout out and thumbs up to you that you're trying to learn how to coupon. Um, anyone could co coupon at any age, but often the question um, with um, old, seniors um, is that they don't want to get a smartphone. They don't want to invest in one and getting one is fantastic. You'll have that calculator at your fingertips and with the different rebate apps, you need a smartphone. Um, it's just mandatory. So I, I know it is a bit of an expense, but it will be um, something that will pay itself probably within a year. Hack number four is to buy the Sunday newspaper or figure out a way to track down inserts. Um, Basically, the rule of thumb, if you're brand new to this, is to figure out if it's the Saturday or Sunday newspaper and to buy four of them. And then you will be on your merry little way to have um, the inserts for the week so you can do the deals that we're talking about and just be somewhat organized. So figure out, um, your is it a Saturday or Sunday edition where the coupons are inside of? And try and get four because that's usually um, what you will need um, to do some of these deals. Hack number five is when you're in the store, make sure that you have a couple of things in your purse, including a pen, paper, calculator, scissors. Um, put it in your coupon binder, put it in your purse. But if you're out there, these are all items that you're gonna need. Obviously, if you have a smartphone, you don't need a physical calculator, although some people like that. But a pad of paper, 
and a pen and a pair of scissors is what you need, especially if say I provide you with the deal and two of the items are not in your store and they're just not there, you're gonna have to think on a fly um, how to replace it, what you're going to need. If it's some sort of deal where you're spending 30 to get back, you know, $10 of bonus cash, uh, you will have to make sure that you're right at that $30. Um, so sometimes having these little like pieces of stationery in your purse or near your coupon binder is just a smart way to go. Hack number six is to find somebody who speaks to you. There's a lot of people who have coupon deals, lots of awesome teachers, but find somebody that really resonates with you. Somebody whose voice, it makes sense. My coupon deals might be like, you know, really foreign or you don't understand what I'm saying or I'm far too wordy. You might, you know, find better deals over on Instagram, on Facebook, um, different deals different social media avenues, find one that works for you and find somebody that speaks to you where you can understand and everything is like super, super clear. Um, so that is the best way to go. Um, if it's reading a matchup like this, if it's like a 10 minute wordy video by yours truly, just find somebody who works with you and um, just go from there. You know, I think that's the best piece of advice. Find somebody you want to learn from who is doing a story that you're interested in, um, that you have in your little town, and just go from there. And um, you will be so ahead of the game just with that tip. Hack number seven, be super friendly online and in-store. I can't stress this enough. Um, if you're looking for couponing advice, you have a burning question that you cannot find and you want to ask my help or anyone else's help, always ask in a nice way. Always say, start off an email or a question like, hey, so-and-so. Not um, like a very shrill sort of thing where you're like, I need the following because I don't really need to answer. But just be super friendly. It, you will go so far ahead with people in life. In stores, be super friendly with cashiers because honestly, if you're nice and like, you know, just really patient, kind, that sort of thing, they can't really say to you, um, sorry, we're not going to scan your coupons. Um, if you're just like smiling and nice and kind, um, it's really hard to turn a person like that away. And sometimes that is part of the game just to be super friendly. With that, uh, number eight is to have a sense of humor. Um, a lot of times you might have a really bad day where no coupon is scanning, no deal is working, your five off of 25 is not coming off and you really need a sense of humor. Um, sometimes it really goes a long way, especially like if you have a manager help, trying to help you out or somebody trying to help you out. Um, if you go in there like hell on wheels and start waving your finger in their face and saying, well, this is wrong, blah, blah, blah. Um, chances are the manager or whomever is not going to help you. But if you go in there kind of, you know, being a palm tree, being loosey goosey and kind of carefree about this, you can always walk away from a deal. You don't have to pay for something if it's not working. It just goes a long, long way if you are just kind of like, you know, somewhat have a sense of humor about it and, um, you know, and don't get crazy if things don't work out because things will not work out. Um, even myself, I've been couponing for eight years and a lot of times things will not work out and you just sometimes have to walk away from a deal if it's not working. Have a sense of humor. Number nine is to be persistent. Um, I know that sometimes uh, we'll just use Dollar General penny shopping for an example. You could go out maybe 20 times and of the 20, only one time find a penny item. It is like finding a needle in a haystack. And the more you put an effort into it, really try, um, stop at different stores and just keep a really positive attitude, like be positive about it. Um, I think the more things will present themselves to you. Um, it's always great that if you have an area where nobody penny shops or nobody you know, has an idea about it, you probably will strike gold all the time. But if you're in a, like a, a bigger area saturated with a lot of couponers, it might be like a needle in a haystack. And having persistence um, is probably the, the way to go. And also having a really positive attitude. Um, just because you didn't find anything on this trip, maybe trip three, four, trip number nine, you'll find a whole bunch, you know? Just be persistent and very, very positive. And the final hack, number 10, is to be generous. Once you have this um, extreme couponing thing licked and you're finding deals and getting toilet paper, paper towels, amassing a whole bunch of goodies and treasures, be sure to share with your family, share with people. Um, and the first time you actually give a pretty significant gift to somebody, um, 
it really is a very meaningful gift um, from my experience in the last eight years whenever I've gifted uh, couponing goods. Um, it always means a lot to people. And sometimes it's these smallest gifts and these gestures that I really wouldn't think this is that great of a gift. Uh, they mean the absolute most to people. So be generous, um, you know, with your friends and family and people you want to share um, this really amazing hobby with. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.